Should you go to Disney in 2024? Let's take a step back and remember the Disney of yesteryears, a place of pure magic where dreams came to life and fantasies became reality. The allure of Disney was undeniable with its enchanting landscapes, iconic characters, and thrilling rides. Picture it, the joy on a child's face as they met their favorite Disney character for the first time. The nostalgia that washed over you as you walked down Main Street, USA, a hot cup of cocoa in hand, the scent of freshly baked cookies wafting through the air. The laughter that echoed around you as you spun in teacups, soared through the skies and dived under the sea. Disney, for so many years, was more than just a theme park. It was a world unto itself, a haven for families, couples, and Disney enthusiasts who sought to escape the mundane and step into the extraordinary. A place where the worries of the outside world melted away, replaced by a sense of wonder and excitement that was uniquely Disney. And then, there were the experiences. The heart-pounding thrill of Space Mountain, the awe-inspiring spectacle of the fireworks over Cinderella's castle, the whimsical charm of It's a Small World. Each visit to Disney was a new adventure, a chance to create memories that would last a lifetime. But as the years went by, Disney evolved, and not always for the better. As we find ourselves in 2024, the magic seems to be fading. The experiences that once brought joy and excitement are now overshadowed by a host of issues that make a visit to Disney less appealing. But as we step into 2024, things seem to be taking a different turn. Let's explore why. As we delve deeper, we will uncover the reasons behind the changing Disney experience and discuss whether a trip to the happiest place on earth is still worth it in the current year. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together. Welcome to 2024, a year that has brought significant changes to the Disney experience. Let's dive right into the heart of these changes, starting with the prices. The cost of admission used to be a one-time ticket to a day filled with magic and memories. But in 2024, Disney has introduced a dynamic pricing model. Now, the cost of your ticket varies depending on the time of year, day of the week, and even the time of day. A day at the happiest place on earth can now put a serious dent in your wallet. Disney's attractions, once the epitome of innovation and creativity, have also seen a shift. Many of the classic rides we grew up loving have been replaced with newer, more technologically advanced attractions. While some may appreciate the cutting-edge technology and immersive experiences, others might miss the nostalgia of the old classics. And then, there's the customer service. The once-renowned Disney magic seems to have lost its sparkle. With the introduction of more automated systems and less human interaction, the personal touch that made Disney so special seems to be fading. The magic is now more about efficiency and less about creating memorable moments. Lastly, let's talk about the general park experience. Disney has always been known for its immersive, magical atmosphere, but with the increase in crowds and the push for efficiency, the parks seem to be losing their charm. The long lines, the crowded walkways, and the constant rush from one attraction to another have made the Disney experience this year more stressful than magical. Yes, Disney has evolved. It's become more technologically advanced, more efficient, and arguably more exciting. But, has all this progress come at the expense of the magic that made Disney, well, Disney? But how does this compare to the Disney we once knew and loved? To understand the stark differences, we need to take a trip down memory lane. Once upon a time, Disney was synonymous with magic. It was a realm where dreams came true, where kids and adults alike could step into a world of fantasy and leave behind the mundanities of everyday life. From the moment you walked through those iconic gates, you were swept away by a whirlwind of enchantment and excitement. In the golden age of Disney, every detail, from the meticulously designed landscapes to the cheerful characters, was crafted with love and precision. It was a place where stories came alive, where you could sail with pirates, explore exotic jungles, and even fly to Neverland. The Disney of the past was a testament to the power of imagination, a tribute to the child within us all. The charm of Disney was also in its simplicity. It was a place of pure, unadulterated joy where the biggest worry was deciding which ride to go on next. The focus was on creating unforgettable experiences, on forging bonds and creating memories that would last a lifetime. The Disney of the past was a community, a place where everyone, regardless of their age or background, felt welcome. It was a place where the staff, or as Walt Disney fondly called them, cast members treated guests not as customers, but as part of the Disney family. However, the Disney of 2024 seems to have lost sight of these values. 
The magic and wonder that once permeated every corner of the parks have been replaced by a sense of commercialization. The focus has shifted from creating magical experiences to maximizing profits. The simplicity has been traded for complexity with an overwhelming array of options that can feel more stressful than enchanting. The sense of community has been diluted, with guests often feeling more like a number than a part of the Disney family. It seems like the Disney of 2024 is a far cry from the Disney of yesteryears. So is it worth visiting Disney this year? Let's weigh the pros and cons. Over the last few scenes, we've explored various aspects of the Disney experience. We've looked back at the Disney of yesteryears, delved into what it has transformed into this year, and now it's time to decide if it's worth your time and money. Disney has always been synonymous with magic and wonder. It's where dreams come alive, and every corner is filled with enchantment. But as we step into the new year, that magic seems to be fading. The rides, once unique and thrilling, are now needing a touch of pixie dust. The classics are being replaced with newer attractions that, while technologically advanced, don't quite capture the charm of the originals. The cost, too, is a significant factor. With ticket prices soaring higher than Dumbo, it's becoming a luxury that not everyone can afford. And let's not forget the long lines. It seems like you're spending more time waiting to experience the magic than actually experiencing it. But it's not all doom and gloom. Despite the changes and the increased costs, there are still aspects of Disney that remain timeless. The character interactions, the parades, the fireworks, these are experiences that still make hearts flutter with joy. And for many, these moments of sheer happiness are worth every penny. So is Disney worth it? Well, it depends. If you're looking for the nostalgia of the Disney of old, you might be disappointed. But if you're willing to embrace the changes, and if the price tag doesn't deter you, there's still magic to be found in the happiest place on earth. As we've discovered, the Disney experience has evolved and not everyone will see the changes as positive. But at the end of the day, it's a personal decision. One thing's for sure though, the Disney of today is certainly not the Disney we once knew. It appears that this Disney might not be the magical experience we once knew. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at why 2024 might not be the best year to visit Disney. We've journeyed together through the nostalgic past, the present changes, and glimpsed at what the future might hold. We've walked down Main Street USA without leaving our seats and we've wrestled with the question of whether the happiest place on earth is still worth a visit. We first looked at how Disney was a thing of the past, a testament to the magic of childhood and imagination. Then, we dove into the Disney experience of today, a mixture of excitement and new challenges. We compared this to the Disney we knew and loved in years past, a time when the parks were less crowded, the prices more affordable, and the magic more palpable. Then we asked ourselves, is Disney really worth it in 2024? We considered the increasing ticket prices, the overcrowding, the loss of original attractions, and the introduction of technology that, while innovative, somehow takes away from the magic that Disney is known for. But let's not forget, Disney has always been about more than just the parks. It's about the stories, the characters, the songs that have touched our hearts. It's about the feeling of joy when you see Cinderella's castle for the first time, or the thrill of riding Space Mountain. It's about the memories made with family and friends, memories that last far beyond the final fireworks of the night. So while it might not be the best year to physically visit Disney, we can still keep the magic alive. Watch a classic Disney movie, read a Disney book, or even host a Disney-themed party. There are countless ways to experience the magic of Disney, and they don't all require a trip to the parks. Remember, the magic of Disney lives on in our hearts and memories, even if the parks themselves are changing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Stay tuned and keep the magic alive.